Okay. So, because we're gonna have. What up, everybody? Welcome back to Lunatic Froggy. Today is the woman's talk show, which means that me and mom are going to discuss anything and everything we feel we want to discuss. Since it is St. Paddy's Day, happy St. Paddy's Day. Disclaimer right now, if you're out drinking, make sure you have a sober cab. Do not drink and drive. Yep. Get an Uber or something. <laughs> you tell them. Stop being stupid. <laughs> it's not worth it. It's honestly not. At the end of the day, your life is worth more than going out and partying. So, Miss Ma'am, we were actually in the discussion on the Lady Outlaws about homeowner uh, societies. Associates, homeowner associates, the HOAs. Right. What made you decide to move to an HOA? Well, because we were tricked to it. We weren't aware of it till we actually went and at the closing, already at the closing, that they said, okay, here is the rules and regulations, and here is this and this, and due to new subdivision, this would have had to be done for it to be able to be built, la, 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 And then they said that, oh, due to the new subdivision and everything else, because the homes are brand new, like we are the only owners of the home, that after seven years, we would be able to vote the association out right well 19 years later we still here and they even worse than they were in the beginning that's bullshit yeah it is and don't they like I mean. monitor your dogs how many animals you have and whatnot uh well they like like i said uh previously like when we were talking about that this is the third management of the association that we have. So every each one of them bring their own shit rules. Right. But again, all these people are contributing to those rules. Right. Which is neighbors. All your neighbors are just abiding by them because they think it's so much better to have. No, because no, they, they're not necessarily that they abide by them, but they try to get on their good side so they're going to complain about somebody else to take attention away from them. Because if they're going to start pointing fingers at somebody else, then they're going to take the attention away from themselves, so they're not going to be on, not going to be under the right. Radar. So that's what's happening in here. And on top of it, when all the economy kind of dropped and all these new people, like these new kids, new owners, a lot of people, because, like, in our subdivision and on our street, we are, there is only, like, four houses, neighbors, that we are the originals that we purchased the home. Oh, damn. Everybody else were sold either once or at least twice or even three times. Have you guys thought about, like, moving out to the country? Well, we actually are in a country. <laughs> But because of the development and everything else, so yeah, when we moved out here, there was hardly anything. Like when we moved out here to this uh, Minica town, we only had one traffic light and two stoplights. We had only one grammar school, one junior high, and one high school. Right. Now we have about four grammar schools and other and two high schools and now we have uh, also we have a jewel we have a lot of gas stations and we have like all other things that like it did develop yeah but when we moved out here it was really when we moved out here it was like 3,000 people now it's about 20,000 people living right and they moved there because it was smaller and, and it, it was, was cheaper. It was affordable and everything else. And, and it now not, it's not. Yeah. And now 
all these things that these people either some of them they sold their homes to the developers like you know management companies instead of selling it to another family right so now on our the subdivision that we live on the side that we live more than half of the homes are owned by some kind of management company that they own the homes and they renting the homes damn that's fucking so now crazy. Yeah, so now we cannot get the speaking as association out because they told me, I, I personally, when they were giving me a hard time about the fence, I called them and I said, how do I get your asses out of here? So they told me I have to have 80% signatures of the owners of the home. How am I going to get 80% signatures when 80% of these homes are owned by management company and they renting those homes. Right. So I can't get nothing out of it. Exactly. So, because they're it's, instead because of, they don't care because they, the, they renting the home. So they already include all the fees and everything else that they pay for this shit. And they feel okay. Cause like one of the management companies, they are big from Texas and Florida. Yeah. So that's how it's split, like half and half, Texas and Florida, all these management companies that they own these homes. So this association is actually playing in their favor because they don't have to be here overlooking that pri property. Exactly. So they feel, okay, we don't have to pay for it because we're going to implement, put the money into the rent, which is renting a home and our subdivision is 2200 a month. And you pay your own utilities, you pay everything by yourself, whatever else you want. Holy shit. 2200 yes. yes, to rent a home. That's fucking crazy. Yes. Which is, that's why we're not going to get rid of the freaking stupid association because they're making money. The management company is making money. One family that lives across the street from us, they've been here over 10 years. They're renting the home. Why wouldn't and you want to purchase it? They could have bought it? a house. Yes. Why, why, why don't you want to purchase it? Oh, because no, they love it. I, I, I couldn't tell you exactly why. If the water heater goes out, oh, you got to have yeah. somebody come in. Mm -hmm. Guess who pays it? Not you. Right, right. The gas, because you get a gas just, leak, they yeah, have to pay. It's crazy, but again, like you're going to look, look at all that and everything else. You as a homeowner, you get your insurance and you get all these uh, other extra things that you able to implement that it's right. not going to cost you a lot to fix those things. But people don't think that way because they don't want to be bothered. Exactly. They would rather just somebody else do it. Uh-huh. And that's why I hate it. And that's why I tried to convince my husband that I wanted to sell the house, but because of the kids still live in a home, so until they're going to get their own places, then maybe then we can go. Because I hate I hate it. Every year they raise the association fee. Yeah. And, and they and don't fix shit around they there. They don't do nothing. They don't do nothing. I freaking, like, we have mailboxes and they rotten from 19 years. The subdivision is old, 19 years old. Right. So the wood rotten on the floor, on the bottom of it from the ground, wet and everything else. So start falling apart. You would think that they would implement because they have that we pay maintenance fee 45,000 a year for what? What does the maintenance do? Bullshit, nothing. So right. What are you paying 45,000 for? So instead of fixing all these mailboxes, no, the owners have to fix it. And if you don't fix it in their manner, when they feel like it, that they told you to fix it, then you, there's your fee $25 a day. So you fix it. That's a bunch of fucking baloney. Yep. And that's why, like I said, and the government, all these mayors and all these, go, you know, governors and all that, they do nothing to help hardworking families. Nothing. Because if you're going to say, go to work, bust your ass, save money, purchase your own home so you can have it, your dream, your American dream, and then what? So somebody can tell you what to do in your own home? Right. Um... The house yeah. where it does not have an HOA. But I know 
there's like the other side in Boston. In New Boston, there ain't an HOA. But in okay. Boston, there's an HOA. And it's like, you got you can't paint your own front door. You can't paint your house unless you have all this shit. And it's like, you know what? I just want to buy a thousand acres of country land so nobody can fucking bother me. Nobody can build around me. Mm -hmm. Which is, that's what I said, you know, like, if, I, if we ever decided... It's going to get to that point because, like I said, my nerves, like, I, I get very stressed about right. stupid shit and everything else. So I told my husband, I said, okay, they're not going to put me in a grave because I'm going to get stressed out that much that I can move. I can do nothing. Exactly. At that so point in time, them, put the house up for sale. And yeah. Move. And, and I told them, I said, well, since more than 80% of these management companies own these homes, I can call up one of these management companies and I'm going to tell them, give me $400,000 and the house is yours. Exactly. And then I can go somewhere, buy a lot, buy a home. You can buy a good couple of acres for $400,000. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's, it's, it's really hard. It's stressful. But again, like, you know, and then I do understand my husband when he says stuff like that because he's like, well, we raise our kids in here. We know we work hard for it. We stuck around for good, bad, or otherwise. And it was all kind of, you know, stressful situations, but we made it. And because all these people around us, they either lost their house or they were forced to sell or something, well, we made it. And I'm like, okay, but what kind of a stress do we put ourselves through? Right. At the end of the day, you're not really helping yourself. You're just stressing yourself out more right. by living in an HOA. And a, and a place that you call that, oh, yeah, you purchase your home. You are a homeowner and everything else. But too bad that you're a homeowner. You're paying your mortgage. You're paying all your bills. But we're going to tell you how you're going to live there. Exactly. And that's bullshit. <clears throat> Here's the easiest way you can get dad to agree to moving to Acreage. Tell him he can go out and destroy shit and the HOA ain't gonna bitch at him. Cause you know damn well you get letters or bitched at because he is destruct destroying shit. Yeah, because it's like, oh, it doesn't look up to part and doesn't do this, doesn't do that. Bullshit, you dumbass. But you ain't giving me no money to do all this shit what you're telling me to do. Like, for example, like, they were finding people, like, we have the shutters on the, yeah. by the windows. Yep. That's a 19-year-old subdivision. Weather. That thing got washed out and everything else. So, instead of, as a homeowner, I would like to go and purchase one the way I want it. No, I have to ask their freaking asshole's permission. If I can do that. Uh, they should not be able to dictate what you do to your house. Right. But the, because, and that's the, that's what I'm saying. Like when we purchased a home and at the closing time, they said, oh, okay, well, after seven years, you can change a, your facing of your house how you want it. You can change your siding. You can do this. You can do that. And this and that. 19 years later, they are worse than the ones that they were first time. Because it's a third management company that they purchased that. They make $3 billion a year. And they sure the fuck do not pay $3 billion worth. At $3 billion, they should be out there fucking mowing each and every lot. Oh, no. Which is, we have a clubhouse. And they have a pool. Well, when we moved out here, we didn't have a pool because we had to wait for the grass to grow because it was dirt and everything else. Right. So we didn't. So I'm like, okay, for summer, the kids were little. I'm like, okay, I'm going to take the kids to the pool since, yeah, it's nice. You know, it's in subdivision. I was turned away because they told me they don't believe me that they are my kids. Well, we have freaking eight kids. You're going to tell me how many kids I should have? Now you're going to dictate to me that you don't trust me that it's my kids? Oh, we don't allow other people uh, to be brought into the clubhouse. They are my kids. Oh, I need to show the proof. So you want me to walk around with a birth certificate in my freaking ass pocket and showing your ass that I, that's my kid, they belong to me? That's <laughs> bullshit. Right. So now every other home in our subdivision has a pool in the backyard. So what do they need the clubhouse for? 
but that's again $56,000 to maintain a pool. And the pool is only open June, July, and August, three months. So what that, do you need the $56,000? It does not for? cost $56,000. Oh, oh, yeah. They said to maintain our subdivision is $350,000 a year. Bullshit. They're for putting what? that. Uh, fucking, I want to see an itemized receipt of every uh -huh. fucking thing you, and literally, legally, you can do that. Right, but see, I looked into it, all of that, you know, like, what do they, how do they help in the state of Illinois and everything else. First, I would have to have proof of them harassment, like, you know, that they yeah. go, like, you know, that they not going by the rules and regulations. Right. And believe me. They do go by rules and regulation to the itty bitty little thing, so they don't get caught. Right, and a everything else after the fifty-six thousand dollars that mm -hmm. they claim is pocket money for them. It's like the same way, like they ha they pay for the landscaping, twenty-four thousand. Again, how many months you cutting the grass? May, June, July, August, and if it's nice, September, half of September. So you're going to tell me you're going to pay $25,000 for somebody to cut the grass around that clubhouse only? No. No. But these assholes who is on the board, they getting their cut, grass cut around their freaking ass house. Right. They get their houses cut, they, her uh -huh. yards they cut, the and it's taken out of the HOA fees. Uh-huh. That's why, I, like I said, I hate it, but... They buy like, vehicles so that way the HOA don't have to walk. Right. And it's tax deduction considered part of the HOA, right. even though yes. they use those vehicles all day, every or, day. Yes, every day. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Like, first when we, like I said, when we moved out here and the clubhouse, they said that the clubhouse is for the, you know, people and the subdivision to be able to use and to maintain the clubhouse that should be volunteers like you know if they like you know let's say on a one street one person would be say for the 20 homes that it's on one street so i would say okay i'm gonna talk to my neighbors and we can create a you know like a schedule calendar schedule that out of that out of, the, out of those 20 houses from our street we will commit to let's say this neighbor will commit to do that this person will commit to do that to maintain the you know clubhouse no now they paying these freaking stupid ass little shitheads that they sit in the office and i guarantee you they are the kids of one of these members right they getting paid fifteen thousand dollars a year now they paying another fifteen thousand a year for cleaning the clubhouse nothing's happening in there what are you cleaning every day for there's nothing in there and if you do rent that clubhouse and you have to give them a security deposit of 250 dollars and then you have to pay for the rental how many hours you want to rent it so they already got the money for cleaning and everything so what are you paying somebody else for supposedly cleaning that clubhouse right bullshit Exactly, and that's the thing. It's a bunch of bullshit. They're pocketing that fucking money. Yep. Telling their kids, hey, go sit up there for what? Eight for, hours? Yeah, I say four or six hours because, like I said, they have different, especially in the summertime. So, yeah, the the only thing that fine, they finally did hire a guard for swimming pool. They didn't hire nobody from outside. It's one of the college kids that these freaking ass people have that they went to do the certificate that they can be a lifeguard and they're getting paid for it. Right, they're probably getting paid a good $30,000 to sit yep. there at the fucking yes. pool they and do nothing all day. And doing nothing. So right. they all benefiting from it and then when you try to call them out on it, oh no, you know good automatically because I did call them out on it. So then they, when, uh, I don't know if I told you the story about our driveway that we wanted to do and we already, you know, talked to the contractor that it would be able to do redo our driveway because it's 19 years old, so it needed a new asphalt and everything else. Right. So we had to wait for it to, you know, for the schedule that, you know, they said, oh, we can do this on this day and this time, you know, whatever. 
So again, I had to ask these assholes for permission and I have to submit the contract of the contractor that we will be doing that. I submitted in one week, then following week, I got a citation that my driveway is not good. It's and they approved it. They approved it that we can do that job. And then they send a citation. That yep, we, and that, that's why they have you fucking submit everything. And right. So they can turn around and find you. Yeah, but I told, when I called the so-called manager owner of this stupid ass whore shit, and I told him, I said, so does anybody know what the, uh, does the left hand know what the right hand doing or you all just go in on a fly and take collecting money from people that you don't give a rat's ass what they do or how they do. Oh, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? You don't need to cop an attitude with me. You don't. I'm not cop an attitude with your stupid ass. I'm asking you, why did I get a citation when your stupid ass signed that, that we can do this project? So now you're going to send me that I have to pay you so that contractor going to come here and do the driveway. So I have to pay the fees because you gave me the approval. So how does this work? Explain to me because I thought that if I ask for a permission and I got to approve the permission, then I'm not going to get fined because I know that the driveway needs to be fixed. I'm not stupid. I'm a homeowner. I know what needs to be done. Right. Oh, well, okay, well, oh, oh, well, uh, 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 what? You forgot how to speak now? <laughs> Did you forget English? Yeah, that's why I hate it. So now they drive by our house, take pictures of every single little thing. There oh, yeah. A, there was a weed growing that, that tall, like, from my flowers that was above the flowers that was sticking out. They took a picture and sent it in a mail instead of email it so then I would get it no they send it in the mail that takes three four days but now they already explained to you in that thing oh within 24 hours you need to take care of that well it took three days for the mail to show up here so now I'm already have to pay for the freaking stupid shit that I did I, I, I'd be like no bitch no bitch yeah I got the letter this day that is 24 hours Starting from the time that I noticed, not right. starting from the time you no. took the picture. Right. No, that's how that's how they do it, and that's why. So the kids and my husband's like constantly, you need to be quiet. You need to be quiet because that's what they're gonna be. We're gonna be on the radar. We're gonna be on the radar because you're constantly bitching at their asses. I'm like, I don't care. They're not paying my mortgage. Right. I'm supposed to be a free. This everybody's claiming that's a free America. Apparently not. It's not free if you live in the in a nature way. <laughs> like I said, I, I grew up in Oh a wait, it's country. not free. Yeah, I grew up in a communist country and we were never told what to do. Never. Never what? told what to do in our own home. Never. Okay, so we pay we buy a house, right? We pay, pay property tax every year. We buy a car, we pay taxes every year. We buy food. We pay taxes. Mm -hmm. Now, remind you, on this car to drive on the road, you have to have your driver's license, which you have to pay every so many years. Mm -hmm. Four to eight years, depending on which one you have. Yeah. You have to pay gas, which is taxed. You have to pay uh, insurance. Which is taxed. Mm -hmm. You have to pay to keep it in good running condition. Mm -hmm. Parts are taxed. Mechanics are taxed. Now, you go to a mechanic, guess what? You're not getting charged for how long it took them to do the job. You're getting charged for how long the book tells them it, it took them to, do, them to the, do the job. Roy used to get pissed at this because he was a mechanic. It would take him half an hour to do a job. They would charge the person three hours to do one said job. It took him half an hour to do. Right. And he'd only get paid for that half an hour. Mm-hmm. So he yep. said, fuck it. If the blue book says it takes me three hours to fucking do this job, I'm going to diddle daddle. I'm going to 
stay there for three hours and do whatever. Exactly. Even one little bit at a time. <laughs> exactly, because at that point in time, now you got to add out anytime you work, you pay state taxes and federal taxes. Yep. Buy groceries, you're paying taxes. Mm -hmm. No matter what you do in this country, it, it, you have taxes. And I'm all for it. I understand rules and regulations have to be applied. Right. But when you go beyond and above and tell people like you are in jail, no, you're not allowed to do this because you're going to do this, what I tell you. Then it's a bullshit. Then it's bullshit. Then you, then, like I said, we live in jail because you're not allowed to do this and this. In jail, they tell you, okay, it's 8 o'clock. Get out. You're going to go eat breakfast. Now you're going to go to work. Now you're going to go eat dinner. And now you're going back to yourself. And that's how we live. Right, exactly. And that living in an HOA is basically oh, yeah. jail. Yep. It's fucking ridiculous. Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah. And it's like, I, I don't know. I cannot believe that even, like, you know, that's what they, like, the government, like, all kind of rules and regulations, they would allow that. And that's why when I, again, when I ask for the, when I ask the, for the per permit to replace the fence and everything else, and they're like, oh, we cannot give you the permit till you ask your HOA. For what? Oh, because they have to give you permission to do that. I'm like, why do I, then why do I have to ask you for a permit when I have to ask <laughs> their answers for it? So what do I need the mayor for? Right. What is he getting paid for? He gets paid for all the people that, Ain't in the HOA. Right. But that's what I'm saying. That's bullshit. Like, like it's really, really ridiculous. You know, it's very stressful to live like that. It is. Honestly, it is. I hate living in an HOA. I refuse to. Yeah. I hate living in town because, again, you got to follow all the rules. And some of the rules are ridiculous. Because... These kind of people that they make those rules, they don't follow them, but they are above you because they supposedly on a board and they gonna tell you what to do. Well, exactly. Let's put it this way. We're not supposed to have, see right there? That's not supposed no. to be allowed. My dog, I'm supposed to hold that at all times while my dog is on that. Mm -hmm. A cop drives by, sees my dog out there, I can easily slip it over my hand and be like, look, I'm disabled. I cannot go outside and yeah. Yep. The door fucking, he pulls, he can pull the door. He can't pull, if he pulls me, I'm going to get hurt. Mm -hmm. I hook it to the door so he don't pull me. I have that, dis I have that claim. Right. Like I've said many times, we have our house segregated between three dogs and two dogs. Mm-hmm. Well, they're going to be, well, what's your excuse up there? Well, once again, I let them out. They pull. I'm screwed. Right. That's why I, I, like, one time we went to get our dogs for a walk, and you've seen, like, how the one dog is really big. Yeah. And she pulled me, and I'm like, oh, no, I'm not going out there walking her ass because she's going to drag me through the neighborhood. <laughs> oh, yeah. We make my, well, we don't make my son. My son volunteers to walk our dogs, but at the same point in time, like, yesterday he walked Coco and Chopper, and both of them damn near got hit by cars. Oh, my goodness. Because they just ran. Yeah. Tay, she ran up to a bunch of people and sat down next to somebody and just watched the meet. Yeah. No matter how hard Jordan pulled. Yeah. It was just ridiculous. No, because that's why. That's why, like I said, when uh, when they were bitching shit about this fence that we needed to, I said, well. I have dogs, and if I'm not going to have a fence, I cannot have a dog. And I do love my dog, so I have to have a fence. And I'm trying to go by your freaking stupid rules, but you don't even know your own rules. So now who's stupid? And 
then all these apology letter and calling and everything else. I'm like, shove it in your ass. You already aggravated my ass all day long. Exactly. Hold up. Because we're going to have this gender reveal on Saturday. I know. I can't wait to find out what yeah. you Yeah, that would be so, nice. And I'm glad it's going to be nice make weather. Sure everybody pays attention to Lunatic Dad's videos just so that way you know what he is, ha what Grim baby they are having. Is it yes. going to be a boy or girl? Comment down below if you are excited if you're team boy or team girl. Right. <laughs> I just stay safe. If you go out drinking, you better not be driving. It's not good. If you feel that you need to spend money on that, send it my way. I would greatly appreciate it. <laughs> Hell yeah, mom. <laughs> All right, everybody. We love you. Love y'all. Bye. Bye.